Maya Noor, welcome back to AM. Thanks to our partner Chorus, it is 8 away from 9. <laughs> it's time to laugh, everybody. Evil laugh. Hopefully you're in the, the mood. Guy Williams, Ursula Carlson, Eli Matthewson are just some of the comedians in the lineup for this year's an extremely funny and prestigious event, the Best Foods Comedy Gala. Comedian Rhys Matthewson has the big job this year of being the host for the big event, and he is with us this morning. Good morning. Morning, guys. How are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> First of all, just a clap for um, doing what you do, because what we're going to do this morning is have a go at some comedy, some stand-up comedy. <laughs> How do you actually get to the point where you're not freaking out every time you go on stage? Um, you just have to do it enough. It's just like repetition, repetition. The more you do it, the, the, every time it just gets a little bit less and less. This is a big gig for you. This is a, 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 obviously a big gig in general, but are you excited? I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. It's a huge honour to, to be able to host it. I mean, normally, um, pre-COVID times, you'd have an international host at Kiwis would never be given the honour. And it's only in the last couple of years that we've had... Um, Pax, Asadi, Justine Smith, they've done it, oh. and, and now me. So. Are you going to dance as well? Um, on stage? No, I'm not. I, I, I thought about it. I was thinking about doing some tap dancing, um, but I was told that it was a bit too risky. Not funny enough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm too good at it. So much um, admiration for what you do, especially now that we've actually had to try and come up with something funny. Uh, yeah, you guys make this look very easy. Well, that's, well, that's the thing, because every, everyone can be funny, right? We've all had a laugh with every mate down at the pub. It's the thing of, at this time and this yes. place, you have to yeah. be funny for this random group of people. That's the hard bit. I have to admit, I was... I considered cheating this morning, and we got in touch with the lovely Tony Lyle at the project. Oh, love and Tony. And I said, why don't you just write me something? Um, and he did write something that was really funny, but it was really sledging you. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought, I can't bring myself to come here and just rip you out. Like, I hardly I would have even know you. <laughs> more than happy to. Um, but, yes, Tony provided some very funny material, but I decided I wouldn't cheat in the end. Can we just do this? Can we just get yeah, it done? Yeah, let's just get it done. <laughs> this is the first breakfast interview oh I've ever done where the hosts are more nervous than the interview. We're freaking out. We're all sh we're shaking. And uh, my knees, actually, I'm not even sure that I can walk properly. Melissa's going first. Where am I, in, am Reece, I standing? Reese, do you want to introduce, because you're the host, so oh, yes. do you want to introduce Melissa? Um, Take your time, because you might run out of time to get to Ryan myself. <laughs> That's the way. It's my Okay, theory. okay. Are we ready? All yeah. Right, are we ready, ready, guys? Not really. Oh. Here we go. Canned laughter. Love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a hot crowd here tonight. Woo! All right, now, please welcome to the next stage your next act, Melissa Chang Green. Thank you. Lovely to be here with you all tonight. It's actually not. Uh, some observational comedy for you tonight. I want to talk about the different ways that we talk in front of people because there's your loud talkers and there's your whisperers. Okay, the first, the first loud talker I'm going to talk about is the guy who goes to a Warriors game. He's usually got a, a name that ends in a vowel. Cambo, Dazza, Gazza. <laughs> and he talks loud. He pretends he's talking to his friend next to him, but actually he's talking to the crowd. And he says things like, oh, the ref should have gone to Specsavers. And, uh, oh, the ref thinks he's working in Whitcalls or something. He's dishing out that many cards. <laughs> talker you've got is the woman in your office. She's got a one-syllable name. Her name's like Jill and Dawn. And she doesn't intentionally talk loud, but she talks loud on the phone. So she says things like, yes, I have put in the pens order. And she doesn't realise that everyone else can hear. And this, then they look at her and she does what is the first uh, example of the whispering, which is the overemphasised whisper, which was, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she can't whisper just using normal lips. It's I'm very emphasised. <laughs> uh, the, other, was the other whisperer is uh, is me, and I walk into a taxi, and for some reason I can't can no longer talk normally. I'm walking in, I'm talking normally, and then I sit in the back of the cab, and then it's the mumbled whisper. How's you? So what's the night? What are we doing? I can't talk normally to the person next to me. Uh, those are the two whisperers and your two loud talkers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes. Oh, go, 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 go. Well go. You've got three minutes. Okay. You've got to go. Go. Who's go. Oh, it's We're going to oh, it's me. Benedine. Oh, it's me. Should I take my computer? Oh, it's in there. Right, okay, right, right, right. So I've chosen a sports and louder thing. laughter? Uh, a, a sports <laughs> 
<laughs> it's always so it, I can't read that. It needs to come closer. So this is sports theme, uh, and this is completely stolen off the web, so I can't, can't own it. Golf tour in Ireland, OK? You've got Tiger Woods. He drives his BMW into a petrol station in a remote part of the countryside. Now, the pub attendant, he comes on out. He knows nothing about golf, greets him in your typical Irish fashion, uh, unaware of who this golfing pro is. T Shall I do the Irish accent? Yes. Yeah. Top, top of the morning and here, he says. And Tiger does a quick nod hello. He bends down forward to pick up the gas nozzle. And as he does so, two tees fall out of his shirt pocket onto the ground. What a dolls! Says the attendant. <laughs> what are dolls? <laughs> They're called tees, replies Tiger. Well, what in God's earth are they for? Says the Irishman. They're for resting my balls on when I'm driving, says Tiger. Jesus, as a BMW, you think of everything, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 My job. Okay. Okay. No pressure, Ryan. No pressure. Good morning. Um, as a tall person, you know what really catches my eye? Short people with umbrellas. <laughs> 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 a, a dyslexic man walks into a bra. <laughs> <laughs> and sticking with bras, what did the bra say to the hat? <laughs> you go ahead and I'll give these two a lift. A push up bra, because we've got more bra jokes. It's so bra. We don't have time for it. We're going to go. Okay, comedy's over. Our oh, scoring. Score, 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 score. score, 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 score. Reese has got to score us. Oh, okay. I'm I going... only got half of my act out, by the way. Oh. Yeah, you got. You Not got... fair. <laughs> Stuff Sorry, I took too long. I'm going to give. I'm going to give Ryan. I'm going to give you a three. Because oh. there was oh. a, a lot of bra beautiful. stuff. Um, Bernadine, I'm going to give you a seven because I love the accent. Oh, beautiful. I'll take that. But for the original material, yes. oh, Melissa, got to be a ten. <laughs> oh, that's that's from Mel. Um, the Best Foods Comedy Gala is in Auckland tomorrow night, Wellington, September 30th. You can head to comedyfestival.co.nz for your ticket information. Thank you for watching, everybody. Sorry about that. So, so good. <laughs> what a way to end the show! <laughs>